right. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the blue couch. Um, Literally, welcome to the blue couch. This is where I got the idea of the podcast. I think I may have talked about it on one of the episodes, but um, yeah, this is where I got the idea. I think I bought this blue couch um, maybe two years ago. And I've had it since. It's like the first couch I bought. And I mean, that means a lot to me. Pretty young. Never bought a couch before. (laughs) And so now it's blue and it's called the blue couch. So, um, yeah, welcome. Um, So, y'all, honestly, this is a podcast. You're either listening to it, you know, wherever, through your um, phone, you know, in your car, Whatever. Yeah, this is a podcast, so I don't know how you're actually looking at that, listening to that. But for those who are also looking, like watching, it's also a vlog. So, um, yeah, I decided I wanted to vlog three um, months ago. I come up with all types of stuff I want to do. Um, it's crazy. Anyway, I was like, I told my boyfriend, I was like, oh my God, I really want to vlog. Like, uh, but I don't fucking know. Beep. I just cursed. Um, I really want to vlog, but I really don't know like what I'm a vlog. So, um, he was just like, okay, let's just go to the store. So we went to the store and we bought like, um, this thing where I can record easily. Um, and so, yeah. I just started playing with it. I learned it. I learned how to use it. And I love it. And so, y'all, over the past three months, I've been recording stuff, but I have not posted anything. And I've literally edited it and, like, made, like, movies. <laughs> I don't know. This is what I've been doing in my spare time. Like, just getting hobbies or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, sorry lost my train of thought like I was saying um anyways I forgot where I was but hey to everybody that's on YouTube um yeah I think I'm gonna also like when I edit or edit I'm gonna put like clips of some of the vlogs into this just so y'all can get a snippet before I like release that final episode or something Cause I may as well, mm. cause this is going to be long and you're not going to want to see me sit on the couch the entire time. I don't want to see myself sit on the couch the entire time, but I got to watch myself. So good morning guys. You're probably wondering why in a fact are we actually awake right now? Uh, well, it's actually not that early though. Uh, where are we park? No idea. Do we ever have an idea? I wonder why we don't know. Okay, let's get into it. Anyways, sitting on a blue couch, not a slouch. Yeah, I freestyle um, a lot. (laughs) I be freestyling. So, guys, so the first thing we're going to actually talk about is... um, what I've been up to. I was finna read something off this iPad, but look, 
going to freestyle it a little bit. So I mentioned making those vlogs, and you guys are going to see some snippets. Actually, yeah, you'll see some snippets. Um, but I was like, I want to start a business. Um, and I did. It's a tea company, and it's really freaking cool. Um, I really like tea. I be on my couch drinking tea. Um, I drink tea all the time. I actually don't drink coffee, and I got through, like, medical school. Well, I'm not finished, but most of medical school without, like, drinking coffee. Like, hardly at all. So, um, yeah, I just drink tea. And there's caffeine in tea, but not as much as coffee. At least, but you can find some that do have a lot of caffeine, but whatever. You know, to each his own, you have decaf and um, caffeinated coffee. Like, you have tea. <laughs> you know what I meant. But, um, so, yeah, I got into it. I just like it. It's really relaxing to me. Um, I don't, no offense to anybody who do, but I don't do, like, flat tummy tea or, like, Nutriburst or anything. This is not me shitting on nobody's company, but um, I don't like supplements. Like, um, um like muscle enhancement or weight loss supplements. I don't like those. That's just a personal opinion. Uh, but yeah, so these are very relaxing teas. However, I do have a line where um, they just, the teas are like of some health benefit, if that makes sense. Um, like right now, I'm featuring the Golden Glow Tea. Um, I love y'all. Let me go back. The name of my company is Pretty. Um, I'll let y'all know how I named it that because everybody be like, that's interesting. That's an interesting name. How did you get that name? Um, yeah, so my middle name is Shapri. I don't like it and I'm probably going to get rid of it when I get a ring on my finger. Um, but yeah, so Shapri. Um, and so Pretty. And um yeah, it's my name, but I didn't want to say priest T. That's weird. I don't want to show that much possession, to be honest, of the company. I, I, I really want to be like hands off, if that makes sense, when it comes to my face or, you know, I don't want to associate my face with my company. I don't care to do that. I like to really just stay low key. Um, but so that's how I got the name. Um and yeah, y'all, let me just show y'all some stuff real quick. Um, just hold on, bear with me. All the teas will be featured in um, a little can like this. And to be honest, the can's cute as heck. <laughs> um, it's a pretty color. You can store whatever. Once you drink your teas, y'all, you can store whatever in this can. My, my label is just here. But that was my purpose. My goal was to also give you something that you can use later. Like, I love storage. So, yeah, do as you please. And you get one every time you buy tea. Oh, what's inside of it? Some people have been asking me, like, is it loose leaf tea? No, it's tea bags. I don't want to open this because there's actually something in here. Um, and, y'all, it smells amazing. Like, when I open these teas, the smell is so loud. Oh. I just hit my mic, but the smell is so loud. Um, yeah, it's amazing, but pretty sure in this can is a golden glow. Um, and the golden glow is what I was going to go into. I might as well talk about it now because I've kind of showed you this. Um, it's a functional tea and essentially that line will be more so, um, Health benefit wise, just good for you. So in okay. can you get it out? Yeah. I'm about to go in those. That's fine. You give me COVID problems. Got it. You got it? Yeah. Good.
my dog is looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? I get busy, yeah, uh, I get busy, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, so it's 20 in there. The prices and things are on the website. It's pretty good tea. It's ginger and turmeric in this one. Smell is amazing. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm carrying on. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So that is one thing that I have. I got like two other teas along um, with that one. But this is the only thing that I'm actually going to talk about. Or the only type of tea I'm gonna actually going to talk about. But I also sell these um, teapots. Um they're so cool and so cute sorry this is the top and you're you probably wondering why i got two handles and this is super cute and super small but it's like it provides you with the tea a cup of tea um which is great um so you can steep your water and um take this off and put your tea bag in here let it sit for like three to like eight minutes or so and uh yeah you got you some tea in a cup cool shit that was really cute um so yeah it's pretty the website is www.shoppretea.com that's s-h-o-p-p-r-i-t-e-a.com um i'm excited for i just released pre-orders but to be honest if anybody who has already purchased something is watching right now you're gonna get your things before the pre-order date is like july 3rd but you're gonna get your things probably on july 3rd or before so um no worries about that but um yeah i'm super excited about that i i guess i've just had a lot of time on my hand or i've made time um i think that it's really good to just build hobbies or find things that you like to do or find things that you like um yeah i think that's all i got sorry i'm out of breath too y'all and i'm also drinking tea right now it's just cooling but i'm gonna get that and um yeah it's so hot Y'all, I'm sorry. I had to really drink it. So I'm drinking um, Uncle Earl. It's a creamy. It's a creamy Earl Grey. Um, and again, it's amazing. Like, I've, I've personally never had tea that tastes this good. Um, and I like to drink tea. And it just tastes a lot more pure. And I love it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, too. Um, so, anyway, this is a podcast. <laughs> and let's start talking. Y'all got a little candle burning or whatever. Look, I done knocked the whole lamp over almost. But I got a little candle burning. Um, I'm finna vibe this thing out. So, 
y'all know I like to talk about stuff. So I think the first thing that came to my mind was Tiana Taylor. Sis's new album is amazing. Um, I like it. I think that she's different. So I could just tell y'all the stuff I saw on Twitter, but whatever. I don't want to talk about it because whatever. So I think I was trying to figure out what um type of artist she is what type of artist is she um and she gives me i do what i want i say what i want but i'm still submissive vibes like okay sis so you call the shots but you also like has have a sensitive side and that's cool and so like how often do we actually hear that type of music? It's like unapologetically that B-I-T-C-H. And I like it. Um, It's a cool album. <sighs> that was good. I liked it a lot. Is this Kanye's doing? Um, Rose Eyes. Um... I don't know, but pretty good album. I need to listen to it again. I've done like a first listen and I'm trying to do my second listen. But a lot of times on my second listen, when it comes to music, I get stuck, if that makes sense. So the first time I listen to it straight through as if like I ain't got nothing else to do. So I'm just listening to this album, but I'm not listening to it to take away anything from it. I'm just listening to it to see if it sounds good to my ears. I probably don't listen, listen to an album until like the third or fourth time. Um, and by the third and fourth time, I am picking out songs that I really like, making playlists with those songs. Um, it takes me a minute because I literally, the first thing I do is I'm listening to music for the beat. I don't take into context the words until fourth, fifth listen i don't know my brain don't work that way so um yeah um it's been some music coming out y'all and i'm about to get into a conversation where it is gonna get a little sensitive but it's been some good music out and i really do appreciate the artists who have um shed light on what's going on nationally um from quarantine clean to social distancing to the bigger picture to black lives matter to george floyd meaning if y'all got some of the music um the music uh associations associations i just made then you get it but if you don't i just explain it a lot of artists have been rapping about stuff like that and really good music really good songs i feel like it's amazing to use your platform to bring attention to um public national issues um it's sad it's so sad it's so sad I think even just being a black person and realizing that this is what, you know, you go through personally and everybody else who looks like you go through. That makes me really sad. Being scared a lot more than I should actually be scared living um, in America is sad for me, too whether that's because I'm scared because I'm a woman or that's I'm scared because I'm black or I'm scared because I'm both <sighs> um you know I just pray a lot and yeah but I'm really appreciative of those who use their platforms for the better. I'm appreciative of allies. Um, I think that's amazing. I think that all looks really good. And I think that makes me feel, I'm pretty sure it makes other people feel good, y'all. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm optimistic, though. Um, things are going to change. And I think that everybody should be optimistic. 
um, things are going to change when you put in the work. You will see the results. And I think that we as a nation, as a as a race are putting in that work. So we're going to see change like, you know, everything going to be good. Um, OK. So I'm a little late and. Yeah, it be hard. <laughs> Y'all know it's so hard to go from like a process and that stuff and thinking about that stuff to thinking about anything else. Woo, it's hard. It's tough. I think I said something that hit me. It hit me different. Um, just being a black woman that hits me different. Uh, my boyfriend being a black man, like, damn, I'm still on it. Like. It, it's hitting me. Um, and Juneteenth was yesterday. So it was good. I loved how we celebrated. I love how we celebrated, y'all. That was so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I ended on a happy note. I found the happy note and I found the positive in all that pain and trauma. And I ended on a happy note. And I'm happy about that. Cause I'm hurting, but so COVID y'all be safe. I don't really have much to say about it. Um, uh, I'm trying to think, did I make a COVID joke on the podcast? I hope not. Y'all gonna get me out of here. I don't know. I feel like I made a joke about something, though, when something won that serious. But anyways, if I... Y'all, COVID is not a joke. And it's actually still here. Um, I mean, just practice social distancing and stuff. Do Be as safe as you possibly can. That's kind of just all I have to say. This is not me. I'm no medical professional or anything or anybody to tell you what to do, but... I do want to continue to bring awareness to um, the national pandemics bars. (laughs) No, but for real, I do want to bring awareness to all that's going on. And I'm sure everybody is aware by now. But hey, I got to talk about it. Um, So, yeah. I, yeah, don't want to get into what I do for work or school or whatever. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into how it is being in a hospital or being around COVID. COVID. I don't want to talk about that. Um, so, sometimes you just don't talk about things for your sanity or for your mental health or to not relive trauma. So sometimes people just, um, for example, during the protest, I would see a lot of people say on social media that social media that, woo, I'm done with social media for the day after being on for like two hours or 30 minutes or something like that. I'm done for the day. And the day is 24 hours or whatever, you know, 16 if you awake. But um, it's a lot. So I can only take so much. Me personally, pretty sure everybody can only take so much. So sometimes I just don't relive certain traumas. And COVID is a trauma because it's scary. Um, It's scary that... A lot of black people are affected. It's scary that it affects young, old. And it's scary that people are dying. And the death rate is really high. That is, Those are scary things. And um, we're not going to talk about it, but we are going to talk about being safe. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's that. I'm just so happy to be back potting. Like, um... Yeah. So I don't know if I want to like continue talking. This is 20 minutes. Shit. (sighs) Yeah, y'all. 
so I'm happy to be back. Um, I was gonna make this long, but hey, I might put some snippets of like some vlogs in here. All I want to talk about now is because this is something I got. Uh, <sighs> I'm not gonna talk about it. It was a joke I made earlier, y'all. The joke was about how B Simone got canceled and then she changed her voice or whatever, and she don't be like, baby boy, no more. And that's funny. <laughs> like, <sighs> that's so funny. It's so funny how celebrities get canceled, to be honest. That's a funny thing, y'all. Anyways, y'all, um, thank you for, you know, I was finna end my podcast, but I'm not about to do that yet because it's so much I want to talk about, but like, uh, it's old, it's old news, but whatever, I'm talking about it anyway. So cool. Y'all like y'all really out here canceling these celebrities and it's funny. I like it. You get canceled if you say crazy stuff. Because why hype you up if I don't like what you're saying? Get it. Cause baby boy. <laughs> And she doubled down. And see, that's where y'all mess up. So let's say celebrities really don't know. Let's say you really don't know that whatever you're saying is just not cool to say. Your PR person ain't tell you that, hey, stay away from these topics. Hey, don't tweet that. You know, maybe. Let's say, let's say that it is happening. So when your fans and people who follow you start calling it out you should shake back and immediately apologize and get rid of it doja cat anybody else like desi banks i think he actually did um end up um apologizing but see that's the thing you really gotta apologize yeah i'm sorry but you really gotta apologize when you mess up your fan base because your your fan base is gonna leave you regardless it seems like these people are gonna lose followers regardless so might as well apologize so you don't lose even more or whatever but it's wild it's wild that they just don't get it almost like a different level of privilege this ain't white privilege that i'm talking about right now but there are privileges that celebrities have and uh celebrities have it especially those that aren't so hmm Beyonce is rich. That's a humble woman, y'all. Like, she knows she's amazing. She knows she's a goat. But she knows where she came from. And she gives back to her community. And she's amazing. She want to see everybody make it. But, you know, I really feel like when up-and-coming celebrities start getting their little bread, stuff changes a little bit. And you kind of forget a little bit. You got to shake back. And I feel like that's really what be you know, causing people to get canceled. You get the smell in yourself. It's pretty lit. It's raining outside, so what should I wear? So I used to after your day. Super accomplished. Uh -huh. I did a lot of things today. Okay, look sis, we really don't care, but your outfit is super cute. Oh my gosh, this top with shorts. This is the cutest thing ever. Wow, it looks so cute, girl. Mm -hmm. You get the smell of yourself. So, yeah, uh, cancel them. Cancel them all. Get rid of them. <laughs> like Drake said. <laughs> Get rid of them. I, yeah, y'all know what I can't, can't I say on here. <laughs> Hashtag on here. Um, but, um, so that's one thing too. I kind of lost my train of thought, but I was talking about being canceled. Um, insecure. Insecure was good. 
And I don't care to go into the conversations because y'all didn't wore it out. <laughs> and I listened to all of it. And y'all was talking, talking about that condola stuff. But anyways, this is no longer a spoiler. You're not going to get a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm really only going to talk about it because I just want to bring up certain situations. So... Should a woman stay with a guy if he has a baby on the way? I think that's how I want to phrase that question because a lot of things I saw differently and I didn't think it was such a huge deal. Uh, This is a... Should a woman stay if a a, a guy... uh, Should a woman stay if a guy got a, a baby on the way? I guess that's the question and what I know, but I'm going to argue staying because, well, I'm going to argue whatever's like best for that woman. So if staying is best for that woman, she should definitely stay and There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Would I stay? No, because I. couple of things. I wouldn't date a guy with a baby. You know, I shouldn't say what I'm not going to do, but I'm not in a relationship right now with a guy who has a baby. So I don't I don't want that. Um, That's number one. Uh, So I'm only talking about myself and um, what I date one who has one on the way. Mm -mm. No. I have questions, but my questions about what you do and how you do it and how you've done it before me don't concern me. So I'm not going to ask, why didn't you? And why she? Yeah. And what y'all type of relation? That's, that's worn out, sis. And I don't want to really have that conversation. And I'm good. We can be friends. Um, But yeah. But in a case like Issa, where this is her ex, he did not have a baby on her, hashtag on her. No, just playing on here, on her. No, oh, okay, you want a good joke? Got, got it. Um, but yeah, he didn't really have a baby on her. He, they took a break. They broke up with no hopes in like getting back together. Um, and yeah, he did his thing and things happened. So yeah, um, Whatever she should do is best for her. She should do, she should go where her heart is, and I'm all about follow your heart, y'all. Follow this one, and you know what's in it, even if it's the wrong person. No, if it's the wrong person, sis, don't follow your heart. Follow, hey, <laughs> please, <laughs> cause some men are hmm, the devil. Anyways, y'all. I talked about so much and I'm like I mentioned earlier or maybe I cut it out. I don't know. I'm just so happy to be here. Um, This is going to be a sob story. No, I'm just playing. It's not. But this is me going to just express my appreciation to myself, to everybody who watched, to everybody who even bought tea, to everybody who like is my friend, my family. Bro, I'm blessed. I think a lot of people are. And I think that I'm blessed to just be living right now. Um, we got so much going against us and to see us continue to be powerful and I'm really just appreciative to be living I have a lot of strikes going against me Um, it's so amazing to just have good people in your corner y'all like man adulting is hard <laughs> look gen z or x gen z uh swear all millennials do is talk about how hard adulting is and want like um what else they be saying about millennials adulting is hard uh, <gasps> but gen z go hard y'all i hope it's not x generation z y'all gonna make me google it like oh i feel so stupid (laughs) it's gen z 
<laughs> like, I don't know why. Y'all stop, stop freaking second guessing yourself. Stop it. Like, I second guess myself so much. <laughs> it's crazy how much I second guess myself and I just shouldn't. Like, you know, it's so easy to say, oh, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. But if you have to second guess yourself, you are confident probably, but you could be more confident. And hey, just be so comfortable in your first mind, your first decision that you don't have the problem where I just had to Google if it Gen X. I think that's a movie or something. But anyways, um, y'all, this is me finna get off. And I get into like rants and I ramble. Um, so I'm considering doing this more often, recording actually my face with my podcast. Let me know if y'all like that or not, or is it weird or like, yeah, I still might do it though. But um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here because um, I'm going to go buy some fried fish. I am on a pescatarian diet. And I'm pissed off about it. (laughs) You probably didn't get that from whatever I just did. But that's my... I'm really fed up with seafood. And I love seafood. Um, But I have not eaten chicken. I have not eaten meat other than seafood. Um, Fish, shrimp mostly. Um, Do I see any benefits? A lot of people have been asking me, like, do you see anything? Because it's been like a little bit over a week for me. Excuse me, sorry. It's probably nasty. Couldn't hold it though. Um, do I see any health benefits? Yo, honestly, yeah. My skin is better. Um, and this is not something I've realized, but I have not broken out. I have not had a pimple in a minute. Um, where's the wood? <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Look, because no, no, not finna break out. Not finna break out because of it. Because of me running my mouth. So, I have not been working out like I did like once throughout this week, but I don't really be having time. I have not been working out, but my stomach is really, like, really flat. I have not been bloated any. Um, I've had less headaches. Um, and as far as I'm good on energy, like sometimes I will still try to be like getting sleepy throughout the day, especially like if I just ate or something like 12. But and I notice it's really only if I include like starch in my lunches or dinners, and if I don't. I'm super energized still if I just do like vegetables. I'm doing smoothies um, and it's filled with fruit or vegetables like a lot. Like this morning I had pineapple, strawberry, kale, banana, and blueberries in a smoothie. And that was pretty good for me. That was really good. You know, normally I would also add like peanut butter and avocado in it too, but or in celery. I would add all it in one smoothie and that's it'd be good to me um oh and lemonade <laughs> okay y'all my my homegirl just caught me sorry about that um what is a blog a vlog is a video blog i'm making this up as i go but i'm pretty sure vlog stands for video blog that's why i like yeah, that can speak and so, like, I mean, it's just something you put on YouTube. Like, if I'm going to write something or podcast, or well, podcasts aren't blogs necessarily, but um, if I'm going to write something in a blog, I just record a video to go with it. So, I think that's what a blog is. Okay. Um, this, this girl on Twitter told me I should start a blog about strip clubs. Okay. Um, so, you're, you're, um, you're, I'm recording right now. So you're you're on a recording, um, just to let you know. Um, you should start a vlog about strip clubs. That's interesting. Um, what do you think about that? Um, she told me she thinks it could be really popular. I think so too. 
So I was saying that I wanted to do a vlog about, you know, I wanted to go and like tour like different strip clubs because I feel like every strip club has its own vibe. Yeah, I don't take my friend idea because it's fire. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like the idea. I also and like I strip clubs. Um, you know, I love strip clubs. Love, love. They are fun. And so, love a booty club. And so, what she was telling me was. She thinks that it'll pop. I was just like... I think that you should do it, and I think that you should start this weekend. So, yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like every strip club has its own vibe. Like, every strip club has its own Brittany, but I gotta go because I gotta, I gotta end the podcast and I'm gonna call you back. Okay, bye podcast, bye. Okay, yeah. So I lost where I was. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, I might do this some more. I like it. It was pretty fun for me. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening to the Blue Couch. Thanks for shopping with Preeti. Um. And we out. <laughs>